There's nothing wrong with crisis pregnancy centers and there's nothing wrong with helping women and children. We should do that always. But what we don't want to do is be apathetic towards abortion and just ignore it. Evil, wicked men will ignore abortion. They'll be apathetic towards it. They won't work to make it illegal. We need to make abortion illegal. In Texas, there's 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted in foster care. But we don't want them, right? And the reason we don't want them is because they're not babies. One church like this could take almost half the kids in foster care that are waiting to be adopted. There's 70,000 pastors in Texas. Why do we have 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted? All you churchians don't want these kids because they're not babies. But we need to defend the innocent. Hold back those being led to slaughter. With over 30,000 Christian churches here in Texas, we need to adopt these kids. Why do they rot in foster care? Why do they live in seven, eight, nine, ten different foster homes? Why are the gays and lesbians adopting them in groves, but men like this guy here in the black jacket, he'll try to keep you from getting literature that will help save these kids. We're not mad at you, Denton Bible Church. We're just asking you to look at the problem in a more serious manner. 60,000 kids will be aborted in Texas every year. We need to stop ignoring it. We need to stop all the things that we're doing and relook at the, our priorities. We're not saying all the things that you do are bad. We're just saying we should make abortion illegal and we should adopt these kids in foster care. And for that, these guys will call the authorities on us. They don't, all we want to do is hand out literature in public area. That's all we're trying to do. But they do everything they can to keep that from happening because they want themselves to look like the good men. Even though they're propagating a scenario where abortion is okay and goes unopposed. These men do not oppose abortion. They do not work to help make it illegal. This pastor did not support a bill that would have made abortion illegal here in Texas. We need to go to our pastors and our elders and our deacons and the men at the gates and actually ask them to work to make abortion illegal. Not just be pro-life, not just regulate it, say when, where, and how we can murder babies. Evil, wicked men regulate murder. Nobody should die. Every child is created in the image of God. Nobody should be murdered. Jeremiah stood before the temple and called the people of God to repent because there was child sacrifice in the land and they weren't opposing it. Amos warned the people that God hated their worship because injustice was happening, that child sacrifice was happening, and they weren't doing anything about it. God wants justice and mercy to rain down. We should not live in a culture where child sacrifice is legal and, not, uh, and goes unopposed. And making pro-life bills is not fighting murder, it's regulating it. We should not regulate murder. Children, ask your parents why abortion is legal and they aren't doing anything to make it illegal. Why do we go to church when children are being murdered every day and ignoring it? We need to oppose these congressmen and these senators and these governors that will not make abortion illegal. We could actually make abortion illegal in one day in Texas if just the pastor stood up and the governor signed a bill. The Supreme Court couldn't do anything about it. Again, 60,000 abortions every single year in Texas. Pastors and good men like this guy over here, they just want to regulate abortion. They do nothing to make it illegal. They could make it illegal in a day. But they love their kingdoms 
They love their huge parking lots, their parking lot ministries. They like all the programs that they have. They grow fat in the day of slaughter. Woe to you men who stand at the gates, who do not oppose this evil that's on our land. 60,000 kids are aborted every single year. And the local magistrates, the police, defend the murderers. They actually help keep abortion illegal. Because the Supreme Court says it's the law of the land. We don't follow man's law, we follow God's law. And the state of Texas could make abortion illegal like that. And police officers need to obey and honor God above man's law. If man makes a bad law, police officers should not enforce it. They should make a stand. The police officers of the time had a very difficult time when slavery was illegal. But you know what the police officers of our land did? They returned slaves to their slave owners. Because that was the law of the land. If you're a police officer today and slavery was legal, it was okay to kill black people, to own them. Would the police today return the slaves? Of course they would. They say they wouldn't, or they'll, they won't say, but they would. Just like they know where babies are being murdered today and they defend the right of people to murder their own children. They do nothing to oppose it. Number one cause of death in Texas is child sacrifice. With over 30,000 churches in Texas and 70,000 pastors in Texas, why is child sacrifice the number one cause of death in Texas? Why is it okay to kill your baby? Why, why do we have 30,000 churches and 70,000 pastors and 13,000 kids waiting to be adopted? Children, ask your parents why it's okay for mothers to kill their babies and their parents don't do anything about it. Why are we apathetic towards the death and murder of children in our community? 60,000 abortions every single year, and the men spend more time watching football than even thinking about it. Woe to you men who stand at the gates and do nothing about the oppression of children, the legal murder of children. We have over 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted and over 70,000 pastors. Anybody see a problem with that? Why won't the pastors at least adopt some kids? 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted in foster care. Nobody wants them because they're not babies. Sir, do you know that over half the black women in America who get pregnant abort their babies? And the church is okay with that. And the reason I know they're okay with that is because they don't oppose it. Men like this right here thinks he can block the word of God, shut out the light. But all we're saying is, is we need to defend these innocent babies that are being murdered every single day. Being pro-life doesn't save anything. All it does is regulate murder. It says when, where, and how you can murder babies. But we shouldn't murder babies. We shouldn't regulate the murder of babies at all. We should make it illegal. And when the Bible talks about men standing at the gates, they're not talking about standing at the gates of the temple protecting the religious leaders. They're talking about protecting the people in the land who you, sir, neglect. You actually try to keep the light out of your church. The literature out showing how we can make abortion illegal and how we should be taking care of these orphans. You're guilty. Woe to you. You prideful person, you. <laughs> Just so you know, standing there doesn't stop anything. Why do we have 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted, but nobody adopts them? 
How do we have 70,000 pastors and this problem goes ignored? How is child sacrifice the number one cause of death in Texas? How do we have 60,000 children aborted every single year in Texas? Because the men of the community don't care about children. They don't care about defending those that don't have a voice. Speaking up for the voiceless. Kids, ask your parents why abortion, why it's okay to kill babies in their mother's womb. Ask them why nobody fights against it and opposes it. Abortion is the number one cause of death here in Texas.